SCP-896 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Physical containment of SCP-896 is impossible due to widespread public knowledge. However, the anomalous properties of SCP-896 have been largely neutralized through Foundation efforts and the cooperation of the publishing and hosting company of SCP-896. The server cluster hosting SCP-896's original code is to be housed at Site-15. Five standard desktop computers are to be directly connected to the server with SCP-896-1 installed in each one. SCP-896 may never be connected to the internet or any of Site-15's network, but may be regularly patched as needed by use by physical media. Foundation personnel may not use SCP-896 until further notice. No personnel level 4 or above may use SCP-896 due to potential loss of valuable Foundation data. Any Class D personnel used in testing of SCP-896 must be routinely monitored for the effects of SCP-896 and containment procedures must be tailored individually to ensure no security breaches occur. SCP-896 is known to the public as a popular online role-playing game. The version of SCP-896 the public uses had no anomalous effects, however the original code developed by exhibits effects that warrant classification as an SCP. SCP-896 functions as any normal online role-playing game. Please consult normal, non-Foundation articles if not familiar with the mechanics and terminology of an online role-playing game. SCP-896 is a normal behavior only manifest when a user creates an avatar which shares the exact first and last name of the user. Once this occurs, the user is imprinted upon the avatar. Once imprinted, any changes to the avatar statistics will have a direct effect upon the user. How this occurs is not well understood. The current hypothesis is SCP-896 allows the user to exhibit a powerful mind-over-matter control over their body and surroundings. There are six stats that directly affect the abilities of the user. Raising the stats in-game causes a corresponding increase in the physical or mental characteristics of the user. However, if one stat is 15% greater than any other stat, all other physical attributes of the user suffer. The stats and their length to real physical abilities are described below. Strength. Self-explanatory, if the avatar's strength increases, so does the user's. Agility Highly agile users note a high accuracy of movement and control over their body. This grace allows for a great speed of movement with no sacrifice of skill or accuracy of the desired action. Stamina Increased stamina results in the ability to go longer without food or sleep, enhanced physical endurance and even resistance to disease and physical damage. Charisma Charisma grants the user a deep understanding of an individual and exploits this to manipulate them to their own wants. Intelligence Higher intelligence leads to an increase in the information retention and problem-solving capabilities of the user. Wisdom Allows the user a deeper understanding of situations and people and allows them to see the best possible solution for the problem. It should be noted that the best possible solution is based upon the morals and ethical priorities of the subject. Recovery Log SCP-896's effects were first noted during the beta test. Mobile Task Force Move 4's routine monitoring intercepted intra-office emails detailing the effects and quickly moved in to secure SCP-896. SCP-896 was already highly anticipated by the general public, so simply burying the project was not an option. SCP-896 was released to the general public with significant code alterations to ensure that SCP-896 would not exhibit anomalous behavior. The old beta code was quickly patched and SCP-896 was effectively contained. Test Log SCP-896-A A group of five Class D personnel was selected for testing, based upon their knowledge of computer gaming, compliance with Foundation instruction, and below-average physical and mental characteristics. Each Class D was assigned a role within the group designed to test one specific statistic. For ease of reading, D-896-A through E are referred to by an alias describing their role, as follows. D-896-A The Knight Character focus on stamina B is the Berserker Character focus on strength C is the Cleric Character focus on wisdom D is the Warlock Character focus on intelligence And finally, F is the Bard Character focus on charisma Test Log SCP-896-A-3933 Testing Note all five D-Class are imprinted upon their avatars. The subjects proceeded to play for hours. No abnormal behavior or abilities were displayed. In these logs, all character statistics are redacted. Results 
All subjects underwent control tests to determine their baseline abilities. After today's session, all subjects did not display any gains that were statistically relevant to our dataset. However, at low character experience, statistic gains are minimum. Test Log SCP-896-A3933 Testing Notes The subjects have been playing for one week. The subjects worked well together and have begun searching more dangerous areas of SCP-896 for magical items. Results. Subjects Knight and Berserker are showing improvement. Knight has been able to maintain a full sprint on the treadmill for two minutes longer and displays an increased pain tolerance. Berserker has begun to develop a more muscular physique and can lift 9% more than control tests. Bard's abilities are hard to quantify as expected. Warlock's abilities and information recall and application have increased dramatically. Cleric has begun conducting highly organized and logical debates with researchers regarding the ethics and purpose of SCP and human testing. The subject's st stats are approaching the 15% mark and we are anticipating the consequences of this to appear soon. Test Log SCP-896-A3939 Testing Notes The subjects have been playing for two weeks. Berserker broke his keyboard and mouse by gripping them. Subject has been provided a custom-made keyboard and mouse made of steel. All subjects have begun to defer to Bard's judgment of any situation and begun providing him all magical items, regardless of Bard's actual need or use of the item. Results. Berserker has been instructed to begin increasing his agility statistics so he can better control his vastly improved strength. Bard has been forbidden from speaking during testing to prevent self-aggrandizement at the cost of the other test subject's focus. Warlock is approaching savant-level intelligence. However, the IQs of the subject focusing on physical stats have plummeted. Bard, Cleric, and Warlock have significantly reduced energy levels and have lost 20% of their muscle mass over the last two weeks. Test Log SCP-896-83945 Testing Note Berserker and Knight quibbled over who should receive a magical item, and the argument turned violent. Berserker was able to throw Knight into a containment wall before being subdued by security. Knight was unharmed despite causing significant damage to their concrete wall. Results. Berserker was easily subdued with the use of a taser. Although he is physically very strong, he possesses no additional toughness or endurance. The converse is true with Knight. Although highly resistant to damage and physical pain, he is no stronger than his control test. Berserker has been fitted with a standard Foundation shock collar to ensure compliance. The mental faculties of all subjects have plummeted. Although Warlock's memory has near-perfect recall, his ability to apply his knowledge is nearly non-existent. Even the slightest leap in logic or creative thinking is beyond his ability. Cleric's long-term memory has been severely limited, and must be briefed on all aspects of a problem before he can formulate a solution. Both Cleric and Warlock require wheelchairs and assistance in feeding themselves. Knight's epidermis has become extremely hard but has lost any elasticity. In order to provide the necessary range of movement for testing, lacerations along his joint are to be done five hours beforehand with a diamond-bladed jigsaw. The cuts heal within the prerequisite time, and Knight apparently feels no pain from the procedure. Recommend increasing Knight's agility as well to ensure ease of testing. Berserker requires continual skin grafting as his muscle growth has outstripped the elasticity of his skin. Test Log SCP-896-A3947 Testing Notes Bard was terminated today. Foundation researcher has elected to play Bard's avatar to allow testing to continue. Notes Bard breached containment when the guard assigned to his containment cell released the lock. The guard had been providing Bard with food over the past week and had been regularly exposed to Bard's body language and demeanor. When asked why he released Bard, the guard stated, I see the poor guy every day, I feel sorry for him. Bard walked to the cafeteria and made Foundation personnel make him steak and strawberry ice cream. Upon completing his meal, he returned to his cell to sleep. Command determined the threat represented by Bard's continually developing abilities outweighed any further potential insights into SCP-896 and ordered his termination. It is theorized that Bard only returned to his cell because the thought of escape from Foundation custody had not even crossed his mind. Cleric has requested researchers allow him to invest in intelligence statistics to enhance his failing memory. His request is tentatively approved. At this point, nearly all subjects require Cleric's guidance to perform any tasks. Berserker has seemingly reached a plateau of his physical abilities. He claims he is no longer experiencing any increase in strength or agility despite continued gain in SCP-896. Requesting additional security measures be considered in case he is falsifying his results. It should be noted that communications with all subjects have become increasingly difficult as they are all rapidly losing language skills. 
Test Log SCP-896-A3990 Testing Notes Total Containment Breach All Subjects Three Subjects Terminated Testing Discontinued Notes While subjects were led back to their containment cell by Foundation Security, Berserker managed to remove his shock collar and kill guards. His strength and speed were much higher than anticipated. Berserker proceeded to free the other subjects. Warlock and Berserker made their way back to SCP-896's containment cell. Knight remained and resisted Foundation personnel attempted to re-establish containment. Knight held off Foundation personnel for ten minutes. Standard issue firearms could not harm Knight. Knight was eventually forced into a containment cell and terminated via asphyxiation, which took approximately twenty minutes. No autopsy was performed on Knight due to the examiner's inability to pierce his skin with medical instruments. Upon reaching SCP-896's containment cell, Warlock told Berserker to open the cell. Berserker was able to rip the Foundation security door off its hinges before dying. Autopsy indicates the force required to remove the Foundation security door shattered bones in its body and snapped its spine in three places. Although Berserker was able to regenerate enough force to accomplish his feat, his body could not handle the door's weight or the effect of Newton's third law. Warlock entered SCP-896's containment and proceeded to access the game. It took approximately seven minutes for him to decipher SCP-896's source code and edit the hexadecimal code containing his character's statistics. Upon editing his stats to the maximum value allowed, Warlock vanished from containment. To this date, Warlock or his remains have not been found. Upon reviewing Warlock's account information contained in SCP-896, researchers discovered a customer service notation simply stating, User has been banned for hacking. Cleric has escaped containment, and his whereabouts are unknown at this time. Cleric is most likely responsible for the breach if the other subjects lack the necessary ambition or planning to attempt this sort of escape. Researcher is also missing. It is believed during the distraction caused the containment breach, Cleric gained access to SCP with the help of Researcher and used SCP to escape. Test Log SCP-896-B Doctor a Level 3 researcher was conservatively using SCP-896 to augment his abilities. Doctor was increasing his stats uniformly to avoid any negative effects. Doctor was 53 years old and in good health, and his strength and IQ had increased 7% since beginning use of SCP-896. Doctor decided to have a gamathon over Thanksgiving weekend in 2000, in which he played SCP-896 for an estimated hour straight before he expired. Autopsy revealed evidence of severe arthritis, early onset Alzheimer's, cataract, and development of several tumors. The medical examiner could only conclude that Dr. had died of old age. Further use of SCP-896 by Foundation personnel has been suspended until the direct correlation between the aging effects brought on by leveling is understood.